Hello, everyone, and welcome to my pitch for my plastic pollution solution. So this began about five years ago when I was out on a run and I ended up rolling my ankle on a piece of plastic that someone had thrown onto the street. And this was a bit of an eye opener for me. You know, it really showed me that if nothing is done and nobody tries to fix it, it's just going to keep getting worse. And I know I won't be the only one that is walking all over their plastic. There's actually a huge problem here in Charlotte. And that's because many of the items that we want to recycle, they're not actually recyclable by the city of Charlotte. So what that means is if you put any of these items into your recycling bin, all that happens is it's later sorted out and then sent directly to a landfill. And there's a huge waste of both money and material. And that's because if you were to create an item out of recycled plastic, it's going to be 30% cheaper than if you had to produce it with a brand new virgin plastic. And that money saving comes from the manufacturing process. So if you were to create that product out of recycled plastic, it's going to re require two thirds of the amount of energy that it would rather take to make it out of a virgin plastic. And knowing this, it's sad to see that many companies really, they don't choose this alternative. And as a result, plastic around us is growing exponentially. And each year there's more and more plastic in our communities. And this is a problem that I really wanna tackle. And to do that, I want to create a two-sided recycling platform that essentially takes the plastic that is generated in our community to create products that could be useful for our community. And right now, there's a huge interest in sustainability throughout Charlotte. It is from various student organizations and community members who, they're all saying the same thing. You know, they want to recycle, but they don't know how or they don't have a way to do it. And I'm really looking to bridge this gap. You know, I want to become a... Uh, outlet for recycling here in this community. And I want to do that by partnering with various community collection points and the UNC Charlotte Recycling Center to collect the plastic, and then later partner with UNCC uh, Art and Architecture and the Charlotte Garden Club, and as well as the Hope Fives Creative Housing to create uh, useful items that could be beneficial to our community. And just to show you exactly how effective we can be, this is a pound and a half of plastic that I collected from campus that was going to end up in a landfill because these are food containers, which Charlotte does not recycle. And after obtaining this plastic, I shredded the plastic and then later melted it into a block. Just to show you, not only can we condense the amount of plastic that we use, but uh, we can also make it useful. And as you can see here, you can get extremely creative with the colors and you can have a lot of fun making some really artistic and beautiful products. And just to show you some examples, these are some products that I have made in the past. And it's just to show you that this material, it doesn't have to be a waste. You know, we can create environmentally friendly products if we just have a way to do it. And, you know, the big question is how much would that cost? And what could I possibly save? So currently UNC Charlotte spends upwards of $17,000 a year just to move their plastic from campus onto a recycling plant. And if I was to divert just one haul of plastic a month for an entire year, I could save uh, Charlotte up to $1,700 in just moving their plastic. And then in addition to that, I could create products that could be sold uh, to also increase revenue. And uh, there's actually a growing market. In 2016, the projected market was $50 billion by 2022. And by 2019, we had already met and exceeded that goal. And as the market grows, I want to continue to also grow my platform. And I want to do that by solving the uh, affordable housing crisis here in Charlotte by creating building materials that are cheaper, they last longer, and allow for houses to be built in less than a day. So that is my pitch. Thank you for listening and have a good day.